was born in the spotlight, not because I was a celebrity or had famous parents. I choreographed spectacular shows, choreographing every dance move with my Barbies and my Black Lab. A real spotlight did follow me on the ice as a figure skater. I was a champion at age six, and so I had no doubt about the value of what I was producing. So much so that it seemed perfectly natural to go knocking door to door to demand prepayment for my show. With a fistful of dollars, I went up to my dad one day and I said, where can we find a hundred chairs? At 19, I choreographed an impromptu sit-in that led my college to be the first to divest from apartheid era South Africa. In my early 30s, I created a news magazine for BBC television and grew that to an audience of 20 million people. By 40, I'd created the first mobile crowdsourcing app and grown that audience to 3 million people in just eight months. So I proved my grandmother right. But here's the thing. Somewhere along the line, I forgot my value. And as years passed, I found myself gaslit, verbally abused, and undermined in a marriage to an alcoholic narcissist. And I realized one day that I had actually married the worst aspects of my own parents. But here's the thing, one of my parents was an Olympian. The other parent, a star stockbroker who led the Coca-Cola IPO, they were good people, but my environment was one of alcoholism, financial ruin in the end, and divorce. And those scars stayed with me all my life. One of the things my parents did teach me was an abiding thirst for truth. So as I went on a journey of self-discovery to heal those wounds, I found my voice so I can help others find theirs. I found myself lying on a banana leaf in the middle of the Amazon rainforest, staring up at millions of stars. And it hit me what had held me back all these years. Fear. We all have it. It limits us. It dampens our dreams. It keeps us playing small. In business, we can catalyze conscious outcomes that allow us to overcome that fear, step into abundance, live the lives of our dreams. I found my voice as an entrepreneur to catalyze consciousness in us all. The spotlight doesn't really matter to me anymore. I'm the lighthouse. And the little girl inside me is still pre-selling tickets to an inspired, empowered, and conscious life.